Please don't turn me off. See, Granddad, that's called exposure, and with enough of it, we can change the world. Mm hmm. And finally tonight, Reverend Rollo Goodlove, who's been very critical recently of BET and their sexually explicit videos, starred in a pretty explicit video of his own. Oh. The video clearly shows the uh, good Reverend Goodlove at the House of Cheeks strip club. And it doesn't look like he was talking politics. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're hungry now. I'm saying, man, doesn't look good. Jesus walked amongst the people. Muhammad walked amongst the people. I am a people person here with. All the great prophets embrace the people. You're embracing her butt, Reverend. Listen, child, I can speak in colleges and get paid a whole heap of money. But if you're in college already, you don't need Rollo Good Love as much as a young brother out there in a the gang or a young sister in the strip club needs Rollo Good Love. Have mercy. Now, see, if I walk into the strip club and start talking to a sister about progressive politics and all that, better in her life and voter registration, you think she's gonna talk to me? But if I grab me a handful of that big old ass and ask for a dance, now she's just gonna think I'm just another trick when I'm really an instrument of her salvation. Now, I have set the table for change. Yeah, she grinding on me trying to get that little $20. But she gonna get a whole lot more than that, believe me. Oh, glory. Now, sometimes you'll find her an apartment, maybe even a job. Yeah, but it still looks pretty bad. I just hope it doesn't hurt the boycott. I don't think I can go without food much longer. This wasn't the first blow to Reverend Goodlove's public image. Do you own a car? Because if you do, you own the key to some cash. Last year, Reverend Goodlove signed on to pitch high-interest loans that exploit the poor and desperate. Call the Lone Ranger. I fear it's not your scandals. My name is Rollo Goodlove. You can't sell my reputation. I take your attacks as a badge of honor. They called Martin Luther King an adulterer. They called Muhammad Ali a communist. And for 2,000 years, they called Mary Magdalene a prostitute. Come to find out that's Jesus' baby mama. Y'all saw the Da Vinci Code. I don't know. Maybe Rollo just knew how to spend it. I don't think there's anything wrong with a stripper's ass in a grown man's face. But I do have a problem with BET putting strippers' asses in the faces of our children. Or maybe by now his followers just weren't surprised by anything he did anymore. Well, of course it was a setup. I believe the release of this video was engineered by BET themselves, working in conjunction with the Republican Party and, and the FBI thing. Good Love escalated the attack on BET by producing a DVD called BET, The High Cost of Low Standards. These are the poor. These are the forgotten the victims of black-on-black -black crime. These are the employees of black entertainment television. Now, these two comedy writers were only offered $2 for a pilot script. When will this tragedy end? The situation has gotten so bad that workers at this Walmart store took up a collection for BET employees. Wow. I don't know. Just seems like the right thing to do helping people less fortunate, you know. But as a Walmart employee, isn't it true that you were forced to work overtime hours off the books and you had to get on food stamps? Yeah, they forced me to work overtime to get on the food stamps, but at least I ain't working at BET, so thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Even this non-legal immigrant worker donates money to BET employees every month. Wow. Me and my family, we don't have much, but we give everything we have to the poor BET workers. This is not what America is about. Wait a minute.